shops, because you never know. And some clothes have beautiful things in them now. You'll see quite a few coming up. The shape of the, the inset cut from the embroidery. <laughs> from Nay Merrill's um, oh. first one she did the Happy Brick Rack. Well, this is also a paper piece. And she's big on spirals, but this is a man not in Stack and whack quilts became. Anybody made a stack and whack quilt ever? Yeah, fun, aren't they? I made a whole mess of them. They were fun. So instead of making a square out of it, I turn them all into circles and applique them on. But what this is, is there. this is one fabric in the middle, and all I did was turn it upside down for every stripe. Look how much work that does for fish. They're Hawaiian fish. So um, this is called replacement fish because um, <laughs> yeah, I was going to hang that where the fish tank was. I never did. But um, so I, I I laid out the whole back thing without sewing, and then I put it in my copier and printed pictures in black and white of the fish, and then I applied circles from the black and white. So it's sort of a double replacement on the long time. Whatever. Got lots of homemades in there. Yeah, yeah. Falling water in Pennsylvania. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she paints flowers and they look like my clothes. So we got together and I've been studying with her. And sometimes the, the watercolor wears off into the painting, quilting picture, whatever. So I put it in, in my quilt. So the latest thing I've done with that. Yes. Oh, it's yours. Yes. Yes. I got it. So I took Susan Carlson's clothes. And um, from Fish from Marty. Well, and then, I mean, just try to have the right fabrics. And this in the background, I did not do all this work. This is a panel that they sell now, a digital panel. So, many of these was for a challenging quote shop. And it was at the Millennium. And it was used as the Millennium fabric. And there were lots of Millennium fabrics. They might still have some of that. Yeah. And so I wanted to use, make the 3D. And my dad always had, we'd buy him fishing swivels because for Father's Day, whatever, they were like a quarter for a little pack. And I always wanted to use those in a quilt. So they have fishing swivels. These have like um, Templar in behind, so they've been okay. But the rest, I wired all the openings, and it, it looked okay for a year, and it has not held up but well. So I put that on hold for a long time. And then when the Timtex, Peltex came out, the stiff stuff and the thing, they were making bolts out of that, I thought, I can put that behind, and it's good. So this is the daylight side, which I painted and cut it into diamonds. And there's the origami flowers, and there's the, the buds on one side. The Kamiko Sudo did this original pattern for the origami.